What's up everyone, hope you guys are all having a great day today, and yeah, we gotta check out Harmon Smith again. I know, I've done like two videos on him already, but holy shit, this dude just has wonderful take after wonderful take after wonderful take. So, Resident Evil Village came out last week, I finished it, and I really liked it. It was basically Resident Evil 4, but better in almost every way. Maybe not my favorite in this series, because of, of the entire game, only about a third of it I found actually scary, but as of right now, it's my game of the year and I really don't expect that to change. But Harmon Smith cannot let any other console that isn't Nintendo take a W, so we're gonna be making fun of him today. Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee, owner of BlackCatBooks.org, and we don't care, shut up, author of Cruel and Beautiful and Rabbit Hole. Still don't care, not that hard to write a book, I'm doing it myself. The current state of Resident Evil is interesting, to say the least. Yeah, I can agree. They went from having pure horror focus games with 1 and 2, then to a mix of horror and action with 3, then to full on action with 4, 5, and 6, then back to horror with 7 in the remake of 2, and now back to that perfect middle ground that the original RE3 had with Village. And I personally think it should say how it is with this action horror mix because it pleases both the fans of the original trilogy and the fans of the action trilogy. And from Village, they did a really good job balancing the action and horror of the game. A lot of people People are saying that Resident Evil is in the middle of a golden age, a resurgence in popularity. It is far better than it was uh, 10, 20 years ago. Yeah, and I definitely have to agree. We got RE7 back in 2017, which was absolutely phenomenal. And then 2, which is literal perfection for a Resident Evil game. And then there was kind of a misstep with 3, but Capcom definitely got themselves back on track now with Village. And then there's rumors of an RE4 remake coming out next year, and if that's good, holy shit, that will blow this franchise out of the fucking water. I'd say right now is probably the best that Resident Evil has ever been. <laughs> that, that Capcom has made a return to form, that they've, uh, they've been putting out nothing but great games, and it simply isn't true. Now, it is true that Capcom has finally gotten away from the, the action game phenomenon with the series, uh, moving away from what made 5 and 6 so terrible. Uh, you forgot 4? Do people just forget how action-focused 4 was? 4 was literally the thing that created 5 and 6. Oh, wait. 5 and 6 didn't release on Nintendo consoles until the Switch. Never mind, they're just shit games. But I think that's like a radically different thing than saying that Resident Evil 7 and 8 are good. The fuck? Resident Evil 7 is bad? Sure, the boat section is really annoying and the enemy design is complete shit, and the story is riddled with plot holes, but aside from those three flaws I just listed, 7 is basically as good as the remake of 2, Village, or even the remake of 1 for god's sake. Seriously, if you guys haven't played 7 yet, go ahead and treat yourself to play 7, that game is so fucking good. Like, I just replayed it before Village came out, and holy shit, that game is so much better than I remembered it being. Like, after... I was really surprised uh, upon watching some footage of gameplay for Resident Evil 8. How Holy shit, you didn't even play the game. Oh my god, I thought his fucking review of Doom Eternal was bad because he only played like a half hour of the game before calling it shit. But now he's fucking not even playing games before he calls them shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, it just doesn't look all that interesting. Like everything that I enjoyed about 7 doesn't really seem to be improved on with this one in fact it seems like because again all of the really good things in seven was basically perfection for the series a lot of people's enthusiasm for this game seems to have died down what the fuck are you talking about do you know how many mods are coming out for this game every single day on the first day people replaced the knife with a fly swatter and started spanking the tall vampire lady with it even with seven which i generally liked for the first couple of hours at least. I really liked the first couple of hours of 7. Taper off near the end with like, it's just, it's t inability to sort of make the game entertaining for longer than a few hours. Are you gonna list any examples? Literally all you would have to do was mention the boat section and I'd go, okay, yeah, that's a pretty fair reason to say the game lags behind a little at the end, but that sure as hell doesn't mean it's a bad game, Jesus Christ. Like, is Mario Odyssey a bad game because the winner level kind of lags behind a little bit? I feel like with 8, they, they couldn't, they couldn't even do that. Like, I feel like 8 hasn't been able to 
to expand on the formula of what worked in 7 and make it more compelling and interesting. First of all, 7 and 8 are completely different games with vastly different tones. 7 is a super gritty, edgy, pure horror game, while 8's tone is more akin to 4's. Village isn't trying to be 7, it's trying to do a blend of horror and action. It's not supposed to expand on the formula of 7, they tried something new, which I personally would have rather had this over 7, but in a different location. Over just 7, but in a different location. It's like saying Resident Evil 4 is objectively bad because it's nothing like the games that came before it. Yes, Resident Evil Village is not a good Resident Evil 7 game, but it's not trying to be that. Um, I don't think Resident Evil 8 is bad because it's different, uh, which is the opinion I've heard like Razorfish share. <laughs> I, I think Resident Evil 8 is bad because the developers who, who are working on this game have no creativity and have no means of really making no no real ability at making a horror game like I you literally just contradicted yourself in the matter of 10 seconds oh i don't think re village is bad because it's different i think re village is bad because it's not entirely a horror game like seven was cody lee here everybody veteran video game critic i just don't think they're able to do it i i, I don't i don't think they're going to be able going forward to make good resident evil games again and uh, I said this with Resident Evil 2 Remake came out, which was also extremely overrated. Gonna list any examples? Because I sure as hell cannot find a flaw with RE2. Other than the fact that they cut down the A and B scenarios a lot, that's about it. Like, the only reason Resident Evil 2 Remake was as beloved as it was was because, like, it was a remake of 2, you know, in full 3D, you know, an already beloved game. Nope. So I played the game back in early 2020. It was the first game in the Resident Evil series I had played. I had no nostalgic bias towards that game. Nothing before to make me think it was a good game. Just the game itself. And it was fucking awesome. The enemy design is literally the best in the series. Maybe a flaw in the game is that the music is kind of lame. But even then, you can literally replace the soundtrack of the game with the original RE2 soundtrack, which is just awesome, by the way. But yeah, there are tons of people who played the RE2 remake with no nostalgia bias towards the franchise and get this they liked it an already beloved game for modern hardware that they didn't like completely botch resident evil 2 like they, like you know the final fantasy 7 remake or any of these other like terrible games in the basket the whole year so you gonna list any examples or are you just gonna throw shit at the wall and hope people agree with you uh oh wait it's fucking harman smith what do i expect by default it was better than everything they've put out everything else they've put out recently and and they botched it by resident evil 3 remake resident evil 8 it, it feels like the same thing to me it resident evil village is as bad as re3 when you haven't even fucking played it yet oh my god again are you going to list any examples sure re3 remake is also a blend of action and horror like village but that's not the issue with it the issue is it feels rushed they cut out some of the most iconic places in re3 capcom cutting out the clock tower in re3 would be like them cutting out the entire fucking rpd level in resident evil 2 remake or cutting out the spencer mansion in the resident evil 1 remake while re village on the other hand nothing feels cut the level design is great it perfectly balances out the horror and action moments feels like like they fundamentally cannot make engaging entertaining video games like I don't think Resident Evil is ever truly going to be great ever again this is a true Young Defiant moment here. He's probably watched all of 10 minutes of a Let's Play on Resident Evil Village. Probably hasn't even played the free demos yet, and he thinks the game is shit. This is literal next level games journalism here. Anyways, I'm done. I've got a bunch of other shit to do. I've got to make a video for BT this weekend, or he's going to kill my entire family who he's holding at gunpoint right now. Also, shout out to BT. His link is going to be in the description. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.